Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's winging. Oh, it's winging. Very quick. Oh! Broke the line. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Woo! Nice catch, baby. Nice catch. There you go. Got them beautiful orange eyes. Small mouth be dumb. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. There's the hook. Because there's my hook that he <laughs> broke off earlier. And it's the Ooh. hook that he just used right there. So. Yep. Oops. Well, you gotta love my small mouth bass. Having a blast with small mouth bass. That's what it is. Amen, my brother. Having a blast with small mouth bass. Oh, oh, Mr. Oh. Gower. Oh my gosh, you see that sucker? He took my worm. That's all right. He's worth it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh baby. Look what you just got, huh? And you bust, Woo. baby. Woo. Nice. Oh, I thought I'd turn the camera off. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, go ahead and pull some line out there. Open your bail. Look at that big, big ass. Right there. That's a bed. And right there is a fish. Just comes swimming up. Just comes swimming off. There he is, moving around. You can see him now. So, and he was lined this up with my trolling motor. And now I think that fish is sitting right back in the middle of that bed. Him right there. You see a dark spot? Yeah, that's him. Got him? Got him. Yeah, you got him. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Woo! It's another gun. <laughs> Holy cow. Yes, Greg. Yes. Hey, hey get that worm of mine. Get that worm. Come here. Hey, we got him both back. Woo yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That Jeff. is a hog, man. You are catching the big ones today, sir. That is a hog, man. Woo. Nice, nice, nice boss man. Rubbing there. Oh, he's a little baby though. Yeah. Good fight, man. Yeah. Oh, that's what you call a quick release though. It's our setup right now. Got a host of different baits we'll probably try today, but we got 10 pound braid, 8 pound fluorocarbon, which put together with a double uni knot. Number one, a mosquito, excuse me, no, an octopus hook by owner. Quarter ounce weight, of course. Best drop shot rod I've ever used by Yoder's Custom Rods.
you get the fish? Beautiful. Think we're going today? No, that weren't destroyed anyhow. All I can say is we're fishing a little deeper on a brake line. We're seeing some fish. You have to up your weight on your drop shot. Go for a quarter to three eighths ounce to try to shake it in front of their face. Get my worm? Yes, kick it off right there. That's not a bad fish, is it? We gotta get a hold of it. Yeah! That's it? Woo! Yes! Heck yeah, baby. Alright, having a blast with smallmouth bass. Southern Lake, Michigan. Oh, yeah. That's it. My turn for a picture. I saw it take off. fish for 17 and a quarter pounds that's really not great for lake michigan it was really tough to even though we could find them they were just very tough to catch but i will put my my boss greg gord on the spot here greg what'd you learn about smallmouth bass today patience especially when it's windy and um i learned that it is a blast dude it's an <laughs> absolute blast my second one four pounds i'm coming back yeah. I'm coming back. He was having a blast with smallmouth bass. But uh, we still got to run across the lake. And it is very windy. I was, I was at this. When it's, you got to be very conscientious of weather out here and winds. Because this lake is a killer if you don't take the proper precautions. We knew it was going to be a strong south wind today. So we stayed on the south end of the lake. But if you get stuck on the wrong side of the lake with these winds, ooh, that's when people can get killed. And I know a thing or two about having to call the Coast Guard. Link to that is below. 